Well, look at that. We got a Supra in front of us. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here. And in today's video, we're going over a 2022 Mazda Miata RF in the Grand Touring Package. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Southtown Mazda here in Utah for giving me some time with this Miata. Check out the inventory in the description down below. Let's get right into the video. So under the hood, we have a Nachi aspirated two liter four cylinder that goes through a six speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 26 around town and then 35 on the highway with power outputs being 181 horsepower and then 151 pound feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end of the Miata. We're actually gonna start with the lights first because I believe they're timed and they'll shut off in a second. You've got the projector bulbs there with the little LED accent light. And then you guys can see the lighting here uh, just down below as well. Uh, overall, I love the look and it's distinctively Miata. Now, as for the hood, you have this large flat hood here uh, for most of it, right? You do have the body lines here in the center, but yeah, it just gives it this really cool, slow slung sporty appearance. And then you guys can see here with the Mazda logo there in the center. And then you guys can see here with the grill, you kind of have like the smiley face grill. And yeah, overall, it's a good looking uh, car from a front end perspective. Coming around the side here, we've got 205 millimeter tires wrapped around 17 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. I love the look and design here on the wheels themselves. It has this nice upscale premium appearance to it. Notice we got the little turn signal indicator right there. And then you guys can see the paint color with the metallic flake, just beautiful on this car. And also, also notice, look at this. This little extension right here for the uh, wheel so that the offset <laughs> works. Uh, but anyways, there's your full side view. And also I have the top down with this so you guys can kind of see what the RF looks like with the top down. So here's our key fob. We got the Mazda logo there on the back. We have our lock, unlock, the opening here for the trunk and then the alarm button. Anyways, opening that up, you guys can see storage space here is pretty good for how small this car is. You got that little uh, cubby right there, but it goes in pretty uh, deep. Again, for being such a small car, it's got a decent sized trunk and doo -doo -doo, boom. Now finishing things up here with the rear, I love how we have the shark fin and then we have the little antenna right there up to the side. You guys can see the glass there again for the RF. And then you can see here with the tail lights, you got all of our badges here on the back as well. Back of camera in the center, exhaust tips poking out the side, and then notice that kind of mimics uh, the lights there on the front end, which is pretty cool. And yeah, overall this car looks great. I love the hips on it. Uh, and I, I really don't think there's a bad angle on the Miata. Now here's the door panel at the front. I love how they bring the exterior color here to the inside. It definitely is cool, but I'm noticing here with the interior color, it doesn't have the same metallic flake. It's just white. Whereas on the outside, again, you've got that nice metallic flake. And then you guys can see here with the uh, padding and the stitching here all down below looks great. And then you can see the trim here around the window controls. And then here are these seats. Um, so you can see really nice seats right here. We've got the Bose sound system uh, and you guys can see here with the leather and then the stitching there in the center portion the seats are manually adjustable got the pedal layout down below because this is uh, an automatic got the stability control and the lane departure assistance and there's where we we'll look before we pop in So first thing we're gonna do is actually uh, raise the top because it's really cold outside and I wanna warm up. So all I have to do is just press that button and then the RF will do its RF thing. Bring the top forward, bring the window in as well and latch all by itself. And it's all complete. And then you guys can see we actually have a solid window back here instead of this just little piece of uh, glass. Now here is the steering wheel with the Miata. You've got really nice leather all around the steering wheel. You guys can see the stitching here on the center portion. We have our cruise control here. We've got our info, voice command controls, phone controls, all that fun stuff. Paddle shifters here on the back of the steering wheel. Turn signal light stock. Got our windshield wiper stock and that's all for the steering wheel. Now here is the center gauge cluster. You got the RPMs front and center. And then you guys can see um, off to the side, you got that little screen and then you have the speedometer there off to the side, which isn't important, right? Just matters how much fun you're having, not how fast you're going. Um, but you guys can see, you can see a bunch of different information here uh, with the uh, Miata, like for example, when your next service is due. And we do have a sport mode, which will pop up right below the P for park. And that's all for the center. Now here's our infotainment system. First off, if we uh, pop it into reverse, we've got a backup camera, 
And you guys can see resolution on it's pretty good, but I mean, this doesn't even need a backup camera. They're federally mandated, but this is such a small car, like parking this is uh, never uh, an issue. Now, moving on from that, this is a uh, touchscreen. So as you guys can see, if I press little buttons here, uh, response time on the screen is actually pretty good. And so it's relatively easy to use, but there's also a dial that you can control the infotainment system, uh, which is a little bit quicker than doing like the touch stuff. Uh, so I'd recommend using the dial, but like if you're a touchscreen person, you can do touchscreen stuff. Down below we have a single zone climate, which is uh, all you need because again, it's a tiny car. Again, you guys already saw this for the top. We have heated seats here for the front passengers and we have this kind of like storage space area for the phone. Shifter for that six speed automatic. Again, the sport mode, we've got our brake right here, controls for the infotainment system. And then we have kind of like a super mini center console type thing. Uh, it has some padding on it. We've got the movable cup holders and then we have the glove box, which actually has the owner's manual in there. Um, but the reason that that's a glove box is because there is no glove box uh, here. But you've got nice padding and stitching there on the dash, which is great. And you guys already saw the uh, top, uh, which has nice insulation. Uh, so this is a lot quieter than the uh, soft top when you drive it around. So here's a window sticker for this RF. Uh, you guys can see all of the standard equipment kind of in this whole section right here with the base MSRP. And then after all options, total MSRP $37,465. And... Here's a quick look with the top up, which this looks so good. Again, when the top's down, it has that cool flying buttress look, but when the top's up, it has this cool like coupe appearance, which I think just looks fantastic from every single angle. And so yeah, let's take it out and see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. There's visibility over the hood. You guys can see through both of the mirrors, which do have blind spot monitoring. And then throughout the rest of the rear. And look how cute these little sun visors are. They're so tiny. Anyways, let's set off. Well, look at that. We got a Supra in front of us. <laughs> looks really cool and white. I will say that. And it looks gigantic, actually. It's funny, like the Miata is so small that everything looks big compared to this. But setting off here in the automatic. I just drove a convertible like a week ago, I think roughly. And this is a lot more refined. Like when I, I when I was driving the convertible around, I was like, I am not sure I could actually, like it's a very daily drivable car, but I'm like, I'm not sure I personally would want to daily drive this with the noise that it has. This on the other hand, so much quieter. Yeah, this super actually has the same like paint uh, color as this pretty much because this has the uh, metallic flake in the paint. So it's kind of funny. We're like matching, we're twins. But that's a lot faster and sounds a lot better. I will say that. Um, but getting up and moving here. This yes, thing's got some decent pep in its stuff. Love the steering on the Miata. It's definitely a big high point. Now we're gonna pop it into the sport mode and the manual mode. So use the paddle shifters here. And let's get up and get our acceleration. It's actually pretty responsive. Um, not as exciting as the uh, manual transmission, obviously, but I mean, it, it gets up and it moves. And the, the transmission's responsive enough that it's not obnoxious or anything like that. Uh, so that's definitely a big plus if you ask me. Definitely, um, definitely so much nicer though from a noise insulation perspective. Like the longer I drive this, the more I can just tell. This cabin just feels so well insulated. And the seats are really comfortable too, actually. So one thing that I love about the Miatas is the seats are very comfortable. Uh, and one thing to mention is this is a very small car, uh, but it doesn't feel too cramped. Um, I don't feel like I'm in a cave or anything like that. Uh, it feels like it's small, but it feels relatively open, which I think is a big positive. Get some downships going on here. Yeah, the transmission response is pretty good. I'm gonna short shift through here quite a bit. Just wanna feel the handling. 
handling's great, steering's great. So it still has all the normal Miata stuff. Um, yeah, I guess I guess just without the manual transmission, it is missing a little bit of pizzazz. Like I said, this automatic's not bad at all. It's a lot better than I expected it to be. I'm gonna pop it back into auto mode and then into just the normal driving mode. Uh, but yeah, it's just not as exciting as the manual. Uh, so I guess we'll sum things up. First off, you know, as for the RF, I love it. Uh, this is the Miata I would get as an RF uh, over the, you know, convertible. I understand the convertible is lighter and this and that and cost less, but this is just so much more daily drivable. I like the looks of it way more. And so this is what I'd get as RF. Um, now in terms of automatic versus manual, I mean, yeah, I'd get the uh, manual. The automatic's good. It's better than I expected. But yeah, it just doesn't have that, you know, excitement that the uh, manual has. Um, but other than that, the car's still fun, still tossable, still a really great driver's car. Uh, but it just, uh, yeah, it just lacks a little bit without that manual transmission. And so, yeah, that is the RF. That's because something's up for a video on this 2022 Mazda Miata RF. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Southtown Mazda here in Utah for giving me some time with this Miata. Check out the inventory in the description down below. I'll see all of you in the next video.